All right, so I'm going to do my extended load test today. I got everything fixed on here except the fuel gauge, uh, at least that I know of. Uh, my fan part came in and I wired it all up. That's working. Uh, I added some hoses for the oil drain and the water separator drain. And I just put them out some of the holes over here. It's not really where they were intended to come out, but it'll work. And then I just had some extra bolts that kind of hand thread in pretty well just to keep bugs and stuff from going up there. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a 3000 watt load test. I'm going to do it for like four hours or so, I think. Or maybe I'll just do it until it completely runs out of fuel to see if the low fuel shut off and stuff works on a uh, 240 volt heater. All right, I got everything hooked up. The other thing I fixed too was the light on here. It's got power, but it's not on. It smokes a little bit coming up to speed. bit more noisy than my 802 on the trailer over there but it's not unbearable down the way it should.
Well, there we go. Six hour load test. Like a six minute cool down. A little stutter on it idle. Um, not really too sure what it would be. Uh, I'm gonna do the regular service on this now and put fresh oil, uh, find a fresh oil filter uh, as you were. Uh, air filter. Um, it does have a new fuel filter on it, but I'll probably do that once I actually burn all the diesel out of this tank. Um, and I just got to troubleshoot that fuel, fuel sender. And then I need to confirm that this 24 volt maintainer and solar panel is actually doing what it's supposed to. But, uh, other than that projects come a long way since I got it. And I did notice these little caster wheels, I guess, weren't quite enough. They, uh, started flattening out out here. I don't know if it was failure because of the heat. The ambient temperature is probably like 97 degrees right now. So I have to get some higher quality ones than these Home Depot ones.